Hi, our project is titled Peace, Protecting the Elderly with AI for Clinical Emergencies. We have been working on this project since fall of 2019 in the MPCR lab at FAU. My name is Vivek and I am a sophomore at the Honors College, double majoring in cellular neuroscience and interdisciplinary mathematics. Hi, my name is Miriam, and I'm also a sophomore majoring in biochemistry with a minor in computer science. Hi, my name is Isabella, and I'm also a sophomore double majoring in neuroscience and behavior and philosophy and minoring in psychology. According to the CDC, every 11 seconds, a senior citizen is treated in the emergency room for a fall. Every 19 minutes, an older adult dies from a fall. That means in this 20 minute presentation, over a hundred seniors will experience falls and one casualty will occur due to a fall. Slower reactivity to falls can cause long-term damage, stress, pain, and longer hospitalizations, which leads to a high volume of seniors occupying hospital beds and suffering from negative symptoms. According to the American senior communities, some of the most pressing health issues for senior citizens include cognitive decline from diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, balance issues, and falling over. Adequate health care is vital to care for illness and prevention of death, but we are attempting to find a way to prevent many of these health issues before they even occur. Thus, a large and prevalent problem exists in which slow reactivity to falls leads to long-term health damage and to a high volume of hospital admissions. Our solution is a fall detection system empowered by artificial intelligence and machine learning, predicting falls in senior citizens before they happen. Through our innovation, we hope that reaction time to falls will decrease and seniors will be able to obtain immediate treatment, ultimately reducing hospital admissions that occur due to falls and ensuring a better quality of life to the geriatric population. So we had a couple of different reasons for why we chose to begin this project. For me personally, in January of last year, my grandfather, who you can actually see on the picture in this slide, suffered from a brain injury. And since then, he has dealt with recurring falls and visits to hospitals and rehab centers in the past year and a half. This sparked my inspiration to address the issue of slow reactivity to falls in seniors for a more effective way to predict falls before they actually occur. Because falls in seniors is such a prevalent issue affecting the geriatric population worldwide, both Isabella and I, as neuroscience majors, wanted to apply the knowledge gained from our courses on neural networks and machine learning to address this issue and develop an innovative solution to detect falls in the elderly. The main goal of post tracking technology is to compute a biomechanical movement analysis on a person. More specifically, pose estimation predicts body part movement of a person from an image or video. Utilizing RGB imaging or red, blue, green imaging and pose estimation, the technology is able to quickly detect any body movement due to the mobility of the input source, which will help us apply the innovation to video surveillance. The importance of post tracking is enormous in our technology. The, codes we the code we use has two layers, and this is half of it. We utilize post tracking in Python so that the two codes help each other to learn more, easily predict the next movements of the subject. An example output from our code prototype indicating the frame right before a senior will fall is seen on the image to the right. In the video on the left, you can see the pose tracking technology in action as it places the pose tracking skeleton on the video. So we currently have a physical prototype of our innovation code prepared on Google Colab that we developed in the past year with the assistance of Dr. William Hahn from the MPCR lab. Google Colab is very convenient as it allows us to write and execute Python code within our actual browser, which provides easy access to share and collaborate with other researchers. With our post tracking technology that you saw on the previous slide that utilizes Python coding, we hope to apply two different layers of detection to video camera surveillance where senior citizens live. The first layer would consist of the pose tracking skeleton and facial recognition, recognition systems that would monitor for atypical body movement and the second layer includes the coding that splits up the individual frames of the video footage and classifies the individuals 
in our case senior citizens, in the frames as either upright or fallen over. When video of the body movement is run through the primary part of our code, the code analyzes the pose of individuals in each frame, placing a pose skeleton on top of them to track the movement of several key identified points. As you can see on the images to the right, which was taken directly from our code, our prototype categorizes the individuals as either upright or fallen over according to their pose and atypical body movement. You can see where it says predicted old person walking and you can see that the elderly individual is not falling down and then you can see where it says old person falling, they actually um, fell. Our specific Python code takes video footage input such as a YouTube link and breaks up the video into individual frames. We trained the system and improved its accuracy by inputting hundreds of video clips of senior citizens falling over and running the code so that the AI learns patterns in the bodily movements. The machine learning model will then learn to recognize body movement patterns and give an alert when the system detects any atypical body movement that could represent a medical emergency such as a fall. Through this AI code system, it is possible to identify patterns in atypical movement and characterize a senior as either upright or fallen over. Ideally, our code would work with video camera surveillance to detect unusual movement of seniors in real time. If the camera surveillance picks up any irregular body movement using the post tracking technology system, it would alert a personal caretaker to attend to the senior and provide proper air and cade before the senior is actually on the ground. The visuals seen here show the portion of our Python code where we input the YouTube video link, download the video footage, and then run the code to conduct the pose tracking and biomechanical movement analysis. So the second part of our code, which splits up the video into individual frames, uh, can recognize whether the people in the frames are upright or fallen over. The code also works by importing images such as pictures from a simple Bing search and as more frames and images are imported into the code, the machine learning just gets better and better at recognizing the poses that are in the frames. YouTube videos were also used to model this code, training the technology to recognize the difference between falling and standing in senior citizens. You can see on the images to the right examples of our system outputting images and predicting whether the individuals in the frames are walking or falling. The code creates categories of walking and falling in order to indicate the moment right before the senior falls over, alerting someone of the fall before it actually happens. We hope to develop a fully functional prototype life alert system which tracks irregular body movements through pose tracking and creating audio models. We intend to build a repository of open source data set of falls and irregular behavior patterns in order to expand on current research developments in the field as well as to explore a new way to approach life alert systems and accident prevention in seniors. By identifying key physical manifestations of each disease, we expand our life alert system to identify warning signs for a multitude of potential health hazards in seniors. Our objective is that the AI will be able to target patterns in illness and identify atypical behaviors related to disorders. Ideally, we would be able to patent our prototype as well as expand our technology to the market, providing hospitals, nursing homes, and senior homes a state-of-the-art device which could potentially save millions of lives, especially in the geriatric population. For us, this project has a lot more to do with creating a technology that ensures safety, giving peace of mind to senior citizens and their families, reducing hospital readmissions that occur due to falls, and opening up new avenues of problem solving by applying AI and machine learning. So here is the value proposition of our system. Our technology, a fall detection video surveillance system powered by AI and machine learning post-tracking technology intends to provide a quick and accurate response to medical emergencies. This is convenient as seniors do not have to wear anything, removing the risk of technical misuse. We are currently working on allowing for our cameras to have 24-7 high alert automatic surveillance, which would allow no dependence on a person to constantly monitor the system. The nature of the AI system automatically gets better at detecting falls the more it is trained. So our innovation can mitigate hospital readmissions by adapting the post-tracking algorithm 
after a senior's first fall, expediting reactivity to future falls and ultimately avoiding readmission to a hospital. Our main business competitor is the Apple Watch, which detects falls with the user wearing the device on their wrist, which is convenient and secures privacy without cameras. However, our innovation has better technology application as we use AI technology rather than the Apple Watch simply using typical altitude detection. The Apple Watch has had many customer complaints of false triggers with their detection system. These false triggers could cause distress and paranoia in seniors and loved ones, which our system eliminates through its advanced post-tracking system. So here are a few of our different customer segments that we could market our innovation to. So our technology could be implemented in hospitals in order to elevate the healthcare game, alleviate stress from insurance companies and mitigate hospital readmissions from falls, as well as nursing homes to ensure protection and safety as well as top tier care for elderly citizens and placed in businesses or institutions such as FAU for safety in public places. And finally, this technology is also safe enough for personal use in the home for concerned families who are caretakers of their older loved ones for their personal mental wellness and peace. As part of our project, we have envisioned a business model. If we bring our product to the market, our potential consumers would include hospitals, nursing homes, families with high-risk seniors, and businesses and institutions such as FAU. Our main fees would include the cameras with the fall detection technology and installation services, as well as a monthly service fee. As seen on the flowchart to the right, the revenue from our customer segments costs will go towards funding to obtain the surveillance camera technology utilized in our innovation. After equipping the surveillance cameras with our developed AI code prototype, our innovation will be marketed to the consumers. Overall, our prototype can potentially save customer segments insurance money by reacting quicker to falls in senior citizens, as well as allowing for greater security and peace of mind. So essentially, that was an overview of what we have completed so far in our project in the Machine Perception and Cognitive Robotics Lab at FAU. We have our Python code prototype of fall detection completed, and we are working on building our repository of open source data set. Steps after that include furthering the movement that the technology is able to detect. We are continuously working to improve both the accuracy and scope of detection that our technology provides. We are also working to commit both layers of fall detection to a live video surveillance camera under trials that will determine the reliability of our system. This past summer, we competed in the Florida Blue Health Innovation Challenge. This competition, which was a collaboration between Florida Blue and the University of South Florida Center for Entrepreneurship, was dedicated to finding a creative solution to reduce hospital readmissions. We had the opportunity to work with acclaimed businessmen and discuss the future of our technology, as well as practical ways that the technology could be integrated into society. We presented our pitch deck to a group of panelists and we were awarded a $1,000 stipend, which we intend to utilize towards developing our code prototype. We have been active undergraduate researchers in the machine perception and cognitive robotics lab at FAU since the fall of 2019, with the primary goal of completing our technology to the point of practical use. As we continue to develop our fall detection system with the help of our faculty mentor, Dr. Han, we are competing on other platforms and presenting our research in conferences. So here are some of our next steps. We currently were approved to enter again in the cycle for FAU WAVE this year. And this year we hope to apply our project in a slightly different way where we apply a more personalized code that not only detects falls after they occur, but intends to utilize our artificial intelligence and machine learning pose tracking technology to identify trends in behavior, pose, and gait so that we can possibly prevent the falls before they occur. Although we did participate in FAU Wave last year by developing a prototype for our AI pose tracking fall detection system, we focus specifically on the issue of balance and falls in senior citizens. We intend to 
this year improve accuracy and detection of atypical body movements by turning our fall detector into more of a prediction-based system in which the AI can specifically target patterns and bodily movements in the feet, hands, and the face that would suggest the onset of a fall in the near future, expanding on our prototype from last year, which simply would give an alert when a fall had already occurred. We hope to then expand into Tech Runway so that we can receive further mentorship on our prototype and ideally allow for various applications of our device. Our primary next step is to extend the potential of our AI prototype in order for the fall detection system to protect falls before they actually happen. We look to accomplish this by training the system to detect any atypical body movements that would suggest the onset of a fall in the near future. By flagging these atypical body movements before a fall actually occurs, we hope to transform our fall detection system into a prediction-based innovation. Currently, our fall detection system works on pre-existing video footage downloaded through YouTube. We hope to expand our innovation by applying our current code prototype to video surveillance cameras. In this way, the goal is to detect falls in seniors in real time. We also, we also hope to cover other forms of detection in our system, such as audio detection and facial detection. Utilizing audio detection allows for us to account for when people call for help during a medical emergency, providing another layer of detection to protect the elderly. Employing facial recognition would allow for every senior using our system to be individually accounted for and allows the AI to naturally adapt to the specific individual's pose and gait patterns. Furthermore, we hope to expand our fall detection life alert system and explore the different ways in which we could utilize our technology by monitoring behavior patterns of diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. For example, the specific set of atypical body movements attributed to Parkinson's disease is known as Parkinson's gait, which is one of our future areas of study with this project. Ultimately, our system hopes to learn how different people move around and contribute to the grand view of personalized medicine, such as identifying specific ailments, such as a hurt toe, an inner ear infection, and etc. So we also hope to develop our prototype so that we can, like Vivek said, expand into an audio detection system, which creates these visual models of phrases such as calls for help, or even learn to identify auditory signs of distress. Although our technology currently specializes in detecting falls, its primary function is to detect any atypical body movements and thus it can be applied to other medical emergencies. As you can see in the video that was playing, we have embedded a link to the Chrome Music Lab spectrogram, which provides a good visual on the type of audio models that we could create with our system in the future. In the clip, one of our researchers was repeating the words help, and you can see how the visual repeatedly created the same visual model. This solution can even be employed on the university campus, FAU, if someone is in danger with the technology hopefully being able to recognize if they yell help by identifying the audio model that is correlated with that phrase. We consider the use of this technology on our college campus to be especially useful because of the fact that the FAU student body is mostly comprised of commuting students. Because of this, there is an exceptional amount of traffic on the FAU campus. And although safety measures have been put in place, one specific application of our product could be to ensure the well being of students in locations such as crosswalks or roads. Aside from this, another application of the technology could be in classrooms or hallways or the outdoors and in common meeting places such as the breezeway or the dining hall. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation. A special thanks to our faculty member, Dr. Han and DSAAI3 for having us. Please do not hesitate to ask us any questions.